Hey, Darman fam, I hope you love that message. Please hope remember, you like the we're not message. just telling stories, That's we're changing not nice. lives. I appreciate you watching, and I'll appreciate see you in the next you video. Watching. And cut. All right, that's a wrap on you, Dar. Okay, awesome. Thanks, bro. Hope you like the message. I appreciate you. You know, you really shouldn't make fun of the way someone talks. How would you like that if somebody did that to you? Come on. How can a guy with all his views not even say basic words right? Uh, Kato, I don't think... It's pathetic. The guy's got over 12 million subscribers. And he doesn't know how to speak English? Kato! Stop talking! Why? I'm not scared of him. The next time I talk to him, I'm gonna tell him. Hey guys, how's it going? Darman! Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What were you saying? Huh? I wasn't saying anything. Look, I know I pronounce certain words funny. The truth is that I have a speech impediment and I'm slightly dyslexic. So you see... Hey, Dar. Hey, what's up, bro? Uh, the contractor's here to go over the new studio with us. Oh, okay. I'll be right over there. Sorry, I've actually got to go, but hopefully we can finish this combo later. You guys have a good rest of your shoot. Uh, thanks. Bye, Darman. Wow. How do you feel now? For what? That doesn't change the fact that he still sounds funny. Okay, you guys, we're having a problem with one of our lights. Go back to the actor's lounge and I'll come grab you. Okay. Come on, let's go read the free snacks. What's going on over there? I think they're filming for the new reaction channel. Anything boys can do, girls can do too, if not better. They're reacting to us. What's the trick to being a Darman bully? Be super mean. Be super don't mean. actually be a bully though, because bullies, they don't, they don't success in life. Wait, <laughs> did he just say they don't success at life? I thought I was the only one that caught that. Does he not know how to say succeed? <laughs> uh, hang on one second, guys. Let's try to remember what we stand for. Keep it all fun and positive, okay? All right, all right. Sorry. Are you okay? No. Did you hear the way they were making fun of me? I'm sorry. I'm sure they were just joking. Well, it doesn't feel very good. All right, you guys, we ready? Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. Okay. Okay, you guys, we're running a little late, so we're gonna jump right into it. Let's get ready. Let's roll sound. Speeding. Camera speeding. Scene five, take one, mark. Thank you. And action. Wait, where are you going? We're gonna be late for school. I'm not going to school. I have a dentist appointment. No, you don't. Your dentist appointment was last Saturday. Well, according to this note, signed by mom, it is today. So now there's no way Mr. Williams can give me a suspension. <laughs> suspension. Suspension. Okay, let's cut. We're gonna try that one more time. It's suspension. Okay. Suspension. And you know what? I'm gonna get a new lens for the camera. Give me two minutes, guys. Okay. Suspicious. 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 Why can't I say that? Oh! Suspicious. <laughs> Careful, Briani. You don't want to not success in life. <laughs> hey, you guys should be nice. Yeah. It's not my fault I can't pronounce certain words. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Please don't give me a suspicious. <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> Guys, stop making fun of him. <laughs> so mean. Hey, what's so funny? Oh, um, nothing. We were all just laughing at something together. <laughs> yeah, we were just playing around. Come on, tell the truth. They were making fun of Kato because of the way he talks. What? Is that true? Mm-hmm. 100%. Come on, with as many videos as we've all done together, you guys should know you should always treat people the way you want to be treated. I mean, how would you like it if Kato made fun of you? Yeah, you're right. We're sorry. Me too. You don't need to apologize to me. Sorry, Kato. We shouldn't have said those things. Thanks. I appreciate it. You mean you appreciate it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have something you want to say? Oh, yeah. I should probably say that I'm sorry too. 
Oh, it's all right. I get made fun of all the time. I'm used to it. The important part to me is that you got the message. I mean, you got the message. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, she just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you react? Uh. <laughs> the silence says it all. You guys are so funny. <laughs> anyway, we better get going. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Oh, oh wait, wait, Jasmine. Uh, would you want to go to the movies with me tomorrow night? Um. I'll think about it. Dude, why didn't you say anything? You made them leave. I, I didn't have much to say. But they still thought it was funny. I don't understand. Why are you always so quiet? What do you mean? There's a lot of advantages to being quiet. Oh yeah? Like what? Uh... Come with me. Brittany's having a kickback at her parents' beach house on Saturday. You wanna go? We can't go to that. We have football practice. It's fine. We'll tell the coach that we're looking for colleges or something over the weekend. He'll never know. You down? I mean, who's he think he is anyway? Telling us, oh, you need to run laps on the weekend. When I see him, I'm gonna tell him that, uh, coach, uh, what are you uh, doing here? Never mind me. Go on to finish what you were saying. When you see me, you're gonna tell me what? Uh, what a great coach you are. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah. Sure. I heard everything. Not only are you coming to practice now, but you'll be running double laps. What? You can't give us double laps. What do you mean, us? Trevor didn't say anything. I'm only talking about you. On the field, now. Oh, I was giving you the eye. I literally we looked right so at you. so many chances. I, 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 you could have, like, I was, you I, I turned turn my me. head. I was like, stop pointing my house. So you see, being quiet keeps you out of trouble. OK. But that's one situation. There's no other perks to being quiet. Not true. I don't understand. What's the big deal about me going out with the boys tomorrow? Follow me. You don't see a problem with you spending our anniversary with your friends? That makes me feel like I'm just- You're overreacting again. I swear you always do this. I told you that on Sunday- You I didn't let me finish. You always talk over me, and you never give me a chance to say anything. I just wish you were a better listener. <sighs> Jen, wait. Reason number two, when you're quiet, you're a good listener. <laughs> Girls appreciate a good listener. All right, so there might be two small advantages. Big deal. <laughs> There's more than that. Watch. Who can tell us the most important founding father of America? <laughs> Alex. That's an easy one. George W. Bush. <laughs> Did you mean George Washington? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Man, I can't believe he said George Bush. Yeah, well, being quiet helps you avoid saying dumb things. Man, I can't even argue with you on that one. Hey, can we get your guys' opinion on something? Yeah, sure. What's up? Michelle and I can't agree. Who do you think is hotter, David Dobrik or Mr. Beast? Um... I say Mr. Beast. What? No. He's a gamer. Exactly. Gamers are hot. David Dobrik turned down Madison Beer. He's way hotter than Mr. Beast. Uh... If this is kind of an awkward question, look, if I had to choose, I'd say Mr. Beast. Told you. Dude, why'd you leave me hanging over here? That was so uncomfortable. Yeah, well, when you're quiet, you can sneak out of awkward conversations without anybody noticing. That's another benefit. I didn't even think about that. Oh, hey, uh, don't forget to let me know about the movies. Listen, about that. Yes, you wanna go? No, that's not what I was going to say. Do you wanna tell him or should I? I'm actually going to the movies with Kevin. 
What? With Kevin? Dude, why didn't you say anything? Don't get mad at him. He's just quiet. And that's what you're into? Are you kidding? Quiet guys are hot. Plus, you don't have to worry about them kissing and telling. Call me later. Wow, I guess there really are a lot of benefits to being quiet. Los Angeles High School. In other news, Los Angeles High School. All right, cut. <clears throat> the word is school. It's not that difficult. I'm sorry. From the top, everybody. No problem. Sounds speeding. Camera rolling. And action. In other news, Los Angeles High School is now- Cut! Olivia, will you just get in there and show her how it's done, please? Uh, are you sure? Not all our viewers have perfect English. I mean, they probably like her accent. The ratings are bad enough already. Do you want them to tank even more? I mean, no, but-, but I, You know what? I don't have time for this. Get in there, please. Sorry, okay. You out. Come on, hurry up. Chop, chop, chop. Ladies, sit down. Ready? Action. In other news, Los Angeles schools are officially open. I'm sorry. You, you know what? Cut, cut. Everybody, you know, I don't want to hear it, okay? Just sometimes I don't understand why I hired you in the first place. Why don't you go work in a nice Latin kitchen somewhere? Maybe? Huh? Okay. From the top again, everybody. And action. In other news, Los Angeles schools are officially open. You haven't even touched your food. I know. I'm just not hungry. Come on, forget what that producer said. Don't let him get to you. Yeah, Mom, you should eat. All my life I wanted to be in camera. And now that I'm finally am, I get told to work in a kitchen? It was humiliating. I can't fuck, fuck, fuck. <sighs> I hate my accent. I wish I spoke better English. Stop. Your accent is what makes you special. You should never be ashamed of who you are. Here's your change. Was there something wrong with your food? No, um, the, sh the shrimp was fine. I'm not hungry. <laughs> okay, great. I'm sorry, can you say that word again? Um, shrimp? <laughs> Did you hear how she said that? Shrimp. <laughs> Andrea, wait. <laughs> that was really mean. <laughs> Andrea, slow down. I should have never even come to this country. Don't say that. Hey, buddy, can you wait in the car for me? What am I here for? Just so people can make fun of me because of my accent? It's not my fault I grew up poor. Only rich kids learn English in my school. Ugh, school. This is so embarrassing. No, it's not. Please, don't let anyone make you ashamed of who you are. I love your accent. I wish my boss felt the same way. Forget your boss. You don't need him. You said your dream is to be on camera, right? Yeah. Well, you can be an actress, you can be a YouTuber, you can be anything you want to be. The important part is you don't change who you are for anyone. How am I going to pay my bills? Look. I don't want to tell my son, but I'm behind on rent again, so I have to keep this job. Hey, look at me. Everything is gonna be fine, I promise. Let's just go. I'll drop you off at your place. All right, we're gonna start recording in five, people. Copy five. Copy that. Um, boss, I'm trying to send this text message, but it won't go through. Did the Wi-Fi password changed? I'm sorry, did the, did the what change? The Wi-Fi? Uh, did you hear that? I think you mean Wi-Fi? Yes, Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's really not that hard. I mean, didn't they teach you English in whatever Latin American country you come from? Yes, but I didn't get a chance yeah, to Yeah, you know, never mind, I don't care. Just make sure that you don't mess up on the air. Got it? I can't help it if I have an accent. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? I mean, if I remember correctly, you were the one who applied for this job. 
Take it easy on her, Roy. She's trying her best. No, I am tired of being nice to her. I mean, seriously, why would someone want a job in front of a camera when they cannot speak proper English? I'll be fine. Yeah, Olivia, <clears throat> will you come take over, please, so that we don't waste any more time? It's okay, I can- No, hiring you was a big mistake. Someone who cannot pronounce the word school or the word Wi-Fi should not be working in front of a camera. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> you Shh. I should have done this a long time ago. Pack your bags and go. You are fired. What? No, please. I really need this job. I have to pay rent. I have to feed my son. Well, that is not my problem, is it? Come on, Roy. You can't be serious. Yeah, she doesn't deserve that. Her accent is not that bad. I am not giving her any more chances. This is the United States of America, and nobody wants to listen to this crazy thick accent on the air. I'll be fine. Honestly, I'll, I'll be fine. I'm going to make it on camera. With or without you. You're not going to stop, not stop me. <laughs> the girl who cannot speak English is going to make it on camera. What a joke. <laughs> well, <clears throat> there's the door. You know where to go. What are you waiting for? Come on. Chop, chop. <laughs> hey, I got your text. Is everything OK? Honey, can you give us a few minutes? OK. Thank you. I got fired from my job. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. You were right. I should never have to feel ashamed for who I am. I was for the best. I'm so happy to hear you say that. So what are you gonna do now? I have a plan. I'm going to... Okay, one second. Oh, hi, Karen. Where's the rest of the rent? You were $350 short. Do you have it? I don't. I'm sorry, I will get it. Look, I don't know how it works in Mexico or wherever you're from, but here in America... It's Colombia. Whatever. Here in America, you need to have all the money the first of the month. Do you understand? Yes. I promise I'll get it soon, okay? Oh, okay. I knew it. From the moment I heard your accent, I knew it would be a mistake to rent to you. I should have listened to my gut. Excuse me? How can you say that to her? Oh, is your name on the lease? No. Then stay out of this. You need to have the entire balance you owe with next month's rent, including the late fees. No, please, don't do this to me. You no exceptions. And if you are even one dollar short, I will be filing for eviction. Comprende? I can't believe she talked to you like that. Someone should report her. Look, if you need to borrow some money- No, things are hard for you too. Are you sure? Yes. I'm just so sick and tired of people like her and my boss making me feel bad for who I am. I'm not gonna let them do this to me anymore. Exactly. I'm so proud of you. So what were you saying about that plan? Well, even though I'm not a reporter anymore, I still wanna be in front of camera. So, I found some open casting calls. It's for an acting job. I'm gonna audition. Yes, I love that. I appreciate your, su your support. Of course, I'm always gonna support you, no matter what. And I can even help you record your auditions. Okay. Is everything all right? I heard some yelling. Yeah, everything's great, Ferran. I was just about to record your mom doing some auditions. You want to help me out? Yeah. All right. Okay, Andrea. Just pretend you're Sofia Vergara. What would you say? That's a good one. Um, okay. Hello, my name is Sofia Vergara. I'm a very lucky woman. I have a wonderful home and a beautiful family. <laughs> so good. Keep going. There is nothing I will change in my life except for the dog butler. I hate the dog butler. Sometimes I think he's the devil. El diablo. <laughs> Was that good? You did wonderful. With Ali and Fair on support, Andrea is more excited than ever to go after her dream of being on camera. 
Andrea continues practicing her lines for an upcoming audition. Even though she struggles saying certain words, Ali keeps encouraging her, so she pushes forward. When the day of the audition comes, Andrea is so excited to read lines in front of the casting team, except when she goes to pronounce certain words, she struggles and everybody starts laughing at her. They call her names and make fun of her accent. Andrea is so humiliated. She leaves the audition in tears. Can I have your phone? I want to watch YouTube. Hold on, your mom's about to get home, okay? Okay. Well, how'd it go? Horrible. They just laughed at my accent. They didn't even care about my acting. Baby, I'm so sorry. But listen, it's just one audition. You don't understand. The casting director even said that I will never make it in camera and that I should just stop trying. I knew this was a big mistake. Hey, don't say that. Fran, do you mind? No, I'm not leaving. Mom, don't listen to any of them. <sighs> Who's knocking now? Well, you got my money? Look, I lost my job, okay? I'm sorry, but I'm going to another- I don't want to hear any excuses. Do you have the rent or not? Oh, sorry. I thought you knocked on my door. Oh, it could happen to anyone. Listen, Miss Karen, about this month's rent, I may be a few days late, and- Oh, and... Grace, don't even worry about it. Oh. I know you're good for it. I'll even go ahead and waive the late fee for oh. you again. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You too. Thanks. Hey! I... How can you be so nice to our neighbor, but so mean to my mom? Listen, kid. This is grown-up business. You wouldn't understand. I tried to be nice, but you've left me no choice. You have 24 hours to pack your bag and get out. Her. 24 hours? That's it? It's over. I don't know why I thought I could ever make it in this country. Please, don't talk like that. No, I tried to be a reporter, I got fired. I tried to act, I got laughed at. Maybe I should just go work in a Latin kitchen. Or go back to Colombia with Ferran. No, you and Ferran can come stay with me. You can't just give up now, you've come too far. Then what am I gonna do, huh? You too. Not now, Ferran. You can watch YouTube later. No, I mean, you could start a YouTube channel. What are you talking about? You can make lots of money on YouTube, and it will still be on camera. Actually, hmm. he's right. We don't need a television network or a casting director. All we need is a camera. We can make all these videos by ourselves. Are you serious? But people are going to laugh at my accent. Do you know how many people in the world have accents? They're going to love it. Even Sofia Vergara has an accent. Exactly. All you have to do is be yourself. Can we please just try? What do you have to lose, Mom? You guys are right. Let's try it. Go ahead and record. Yes. What's up, guys? It's... Wait. What do we call ourselves? How about... Uh, royalty! We could be the royalty family! The royalty family. I kind of like that. I like it. Yeah. Let's go with it. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's the royalty family. I have Ferran here with me <laughs> and Ali. Say hi! Hey guys! Hey, what's up royalty family? <laughs> what's up? Um, I know I have an accent, but I hope a lot of you can relate. Andrea, or the royalty family, decide to start a YouTube channel and record their first vlog. The next day, even though Andrea got kicked out of her apartment, she doesn't let that discourage her. She keeps recording vlogs with Ali and Farron. They upload their vlogs on their new YouTube channel, The Royalty Family. And before long, the channel starts to explode People love how much they can relate to their content. 
and especially Andrea's accent. Andrea, Ali, and Ferran can't believe it. They keep making vlogs, and instead of Andrea feeling bad for her accent, she learns to embrace it, and they all have so much fun together. Their content gets better and better, and over time, the royalty family becomes one of the biggest channels on YouTube, racking up over 14 million subscribers. They launch their own merch, get major brand deals, and even buy their own mansion. But most importantly, Andrea becomes so proud of who she really is. And then one day, they come to pay a visit to Andrea's old apartment complex. Okay guys, and we just got to my old apartment complex and we- Oh my gosh, you're Andrea from the royalty family. Yes, <laughs> hi. You have uh, an accent, are you? A Colombian? Uh, yes, um, I moved a few years ago. And uh, to be honest, it hasn't been easy for me here. People give me a real hard time because of the way I speak. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, no, don't be. Uh, I was very sad at the beginning and considered moving back. But then I found your YouTube channel. And after seeing how proud you are of your accent and how successful you become, it motivated me to keep going. Wow, really? That makes me so happy. Hey, come on, oh, will you please? Oh, this is my boyfriend. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting this. Hi, Roy. I don't understand. Do you two know each other? Yes. Um, she used to work for me a long time ago. Listen, Andrea, I just want to say that I'm, I'm sorry for how I treated you back then. I, I was wrong about you. Nah, that's okay. I forgot about that a long time ago. It's fine. <laughs> Good, because my girlfriend loves your YouTube channel. She watches all of your videos. I, I cannot believe that you got this big. <laughs> Thank you so much. How did you do it? I, I mean, I, I thought you would give up being in front of a camera because of your... Well, I was going to do that, but then someone reminded me that having an accent is what makes me special and that I should never be ashamed of who I am. I love that so much. I'm never going to forget it. Um, hey, listen, why don't I um, give you one of my business cards? Th that's okay. She's not interested. We, we have to go. Okay. Uh, bye. Nice to meet you. Same. I can't believe that just happened. She's like my biggest idol. Come on, let's go. I will go ahead and remove that late fee for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, hi. 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 You? No. Nah. -uh. If you think I'm gonna rent to you again, it's not gonna happen. Well, actually, we're not here to rent. Then why are you here? We came here because we just bought the building. <laughs> what are you talking about? That is not possible. Well, actually, we have the purchase agreement right here. We closed escrow this morning, and you can take a look at it. And you can even call your boss if you'd like. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh my gosh. What? I, I can't believe it. How did this happen? Well, you see? This is family business, lady. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> So that's why you should vote for me, Princess Paula, to be class president of Lincoln Middle School. Because I'm popular and I'm pretty. Okay, thank you, Paula. Next we're gonna hear from, sorry guys, I do have to take this. Uh, Stevie, you can go ahead. Uh, um, hello, my, my name is Steven. Can you hurry it up? Are you really that d d dumb <laughs> Hey, that's not nice. You shouldn't call other- Be quiet, Four Eyes. I wasn't talking to you. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, Steven, go ahead and tell us why everybody should vote for you. You, you should vote 
for me be, be, be because because I wa want to, to end b b b b b it's bullying for crying out loud how are you going to end bullying when you can't even pronounce it okay that's enough Paul you had your turn thank you Stephen I think that's a, a wonderful idea <laughs> Okay, that's the bell, everybody. But if you want to hear the rest of Steven's speech and you want to cast your vote, we're doing that in the cafeteria. Okay. Vote for me, please. Hey. Oh, no. I'd help you pick them up, but I wouldn't want my crown to fall off. And besides, it's not like you're going to win anyway. <laughs> Stop it, P P Paula. It's not nice to be, be, be. Oh, gosh. Here we go again. How are you going to beat me when you can't even say a simple word, stuttering Steven? <laughs> That's for sure his new nickname. <laughs> it's going to be fun watching you s s struggle during your s s speech later. Come on, let's go. Hey, you okay? N n n no. Maybe I shouldn't have run, run for pre president. Don't say that. Let me ask you something. Is becoming class president important to you? Yes. M m maybe one day I can be become the p p president of the United States, just like Joe b b b Biden. That that's my j j dream. Well, I think you'd make a fantastic president. I'd vote for you. Thanks. Hey! I'm surprised you don't stutter when you say, hey. <laughs> l l leave me alone, Paula. Hey, everyone. Who do I remind you of? Hi, everyone. My name's Stuttering S Steven, and I'm not very s s smart. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. It's not nice to make fun of people, Paula. You see, hey, why would you do that? Because you deserved it. Now be quiet before I start making fun of your ugly jacket. Exactly. Anyways, you all should come to the cafeteria to vote for me. Unless, well, you'd rather have Stuttering Steven be president of the school. <laughs> Stuttering Steven, stuttering Steven, stuttering Steven, stuttering Steven, stuttering Steven. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Steven, hey. What's wrong? Why are you crying? I can't do, do th this. They're all c c calling me stu st stuttering Steven and saying I'm not s s smart. Who is? Listen to those guys, okay? Just because you have a stutter doesn't mean you're not smart. What if they're right? What if I am d d dumb? I'm never going to be p p p president. You want to know something? When I was younger, I had a stutter too. You did? Yeah. I remember getting called all the names and everybody laughing and always being embarrassed. But there's something my mom always said that made me feel better. What, what, what's that? That whenever someone has a stutter, it's because whatever they're saying is so good, it needs repeating. <laughs> I re re really like that, but I still don't know if I can be become pr pr president with the st st stutter. Well, what did you tell me earlier? That your goal is to become president of the United States, right? Yeah, well, it was. Yeah, well, Joe Biden has a stutter. He d d does? Yes. And if stuttering Joe Biden can become president of the United States, then what's stopping stuttering Stephen from becoming president of Lincoln Middle School? And your campaign is to end bullying, right? Yes. Okay, so then don't let the bully win. Go give that speech. So that's why I think you should vote for me. I'm popular. I'm pretty. Plus, I'll make sure we have less homework and more movies. Thank you, Paula. It's Princess Paula. Right. Sorry about that. OK, uh, next is Stephen. Stephen, come on up here and tell everyone why they should vote for you.
Uh, hello. I thi think you should vo vo It's Boat Genius. Paula, that wasn't very nice. I'm just saying, how is he gonna beat me when he can't even pronounce the word? <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Settle down. Go ahead, Stephen. Finish what you were saying. How m m many times are we going to let a b b bully m make us feel bad about ourselves? Or m m making comments about g g Gordon's glasses? Or l l laughing at s Sally's jacket? Or c c calling me d d dumb and saying I have a st st stutter? Enough is enough. Not any anymore? Not, not if you v v vote for me for p p p president. Correctly. He says things just fine for me. Yeah, I actually like the way Steven talks. All right, so if you vote for Steven, raise your hand. What? You can't be serious. So it's official. Steven is the next class president of Lincoln Middle School. <laughs> giving that speech, I could never be because of my st stutter. Yeah, you c c can. Just re re remember, when someone stutters, it just mean what they're ch ch trying to say is so g g good, it's wor worth re re repeating. I love that. Jeez, I thought you were gonna hit me with that. My thing. legs may not work, but I'm not blind. I almost had to give you a speeding ticket. Excuse me. Excuse me. 1979. I, I got it. Why would you do that? I know people in wheelchairs typically don't make a lot of money. 